A small or mid-size enterprise wants to build a new network using the AR router plus switch plus AP architecture with only Huawei SME network products deployed. In this case, how do we deploy the network so that both wired and wireless terminals can access the internet? This involves four steps. Now, let's take a look. Step 1 is to install devices. Find the leaflet delivered with the product, scan the QR code for the SME network quick start, find the purchased model in the product catalog and click view. Tap installation. Then, select an installation scenario based on the site requirements and install the product by following the instructions. Step 2 is to connect cables. On the AR router, connect a WAN port to a carrier's link to obtain an IP address for communication with external networks and connect a LAN port to a LAN port on the switch. Connect another LAN port on the switch to the PoE in port on the AP. The AR router communicates with LAN side devices through the default VLAN, VLAN 1, and dynamically assigns IP addresses to switches and APs. Step 3 is to add devices. Huawei SME Network Series products can be onboarded and remotely managed through Huawei eKit system. Both the mobile and PC web versions are supported. Huawei eKit SME Network Center is a PC web-based operation platform. How do we add devices and onboard them through Huawei SME Network Center? Step 1 is to prepare for AR router-based deployment. Log in to the web system of the AR router. Directly connect APC to any LAN port on the AR router to obtain an IP address from the AR router through DHCP. Enter 192.168.112.1 in the address box of the browser to access the web system of the AR router. Configure the IP address assignment mode for the WAN interface. Create an account, log in to the web system, and choose Configuration, Configuration Wizard. Click Internet Access Wizard. Select an IP address assignment mode. Here, PPPoE is used as an example. Set Internet Access Parameters and click Finish. Enable DNS Relay. Choose Maintenance, Upgrade and Maintenance. Click the Local Service Settings tab. Enable IPv4 Telnet Service. Click Apply. Click the CLI button in the lower right corner to open the CLI configuration page. Enable DNS Relay. Configure the AR router as a DNS relay to forward DNS requests for downstream devices. Choose Configuration, LAN Configuration. Click VLAN. Click the VLAN IF tab. Click Modify corresponding to VLAN IF 1. Configure DHCP options to include the IP address of the AR router in DHCP packets as the DNS server address. Click OK. Configure the AR router to obtain the IP address of Huawei eKit system for downstream devices. Click the CLI button in the lower right corner to open the CLI configuration page. Enter the interview view of VLAN IF 1. Configure DHCP options to include the IP address and port number of the Huawei eKit system in DHCP packets. Configure parameters for connecting to the Huawei eKit system. Choose Maintenance, Upgrade, and Maintenance. Click the Controller Settings tab. Enter the southbound IP address and port number of the Huawei eKit system. Click Apply. Click Save to save all configurations. Then, create a project on the Huawei SME Network Center and onboard the device. Log into the Huawei SME Network Center website, click the login icon, enter the username and password, and select a country or region. Click the Service tab and then click Project O&M in the My Project area. Click Create Project. Configure Project Information and click Next. Click Add Device and select a device adding mode. Enter the SN of the devices and click OK. The device is displayed in the list. If any information needs to be added, add the information as prompted and click Finish. 
wait for the devices to be automatically onboarded. Step 4 is to provision the network. After the devices are onboarded, configure the wired and wireless networks. First, plan network data. If there are a large number of terminals, you are advised to plan multiple subnets and add terminals of the same type to the same subnet to create broadcast domains. The table shows a planning example. A subnet typically uses a private IP address segment, for example, 192.168.x.x. However, do not use the 192.168.112.x address segment because it is the default management IP address segment from which the SDAR router allocates IP addresses to switches and APs. If the AR router is connected to an optical modem, the 192.168.1.x address segment is not recommended because most vendors optical modems allocate management IP addresses to downstream devices from this network segment by default. If there are wireless terminals on a subnet, plan Wi-Fi networks. It is recommended that the AR router function as the subnet gateway. On a mid-size or large network, the AR router plus core switch plus access switch plus AP networking is used. In this case, it is recommended that the core switch function as the subnet gateway to reduce the packet processing pressure of the AR router. Then, configure networks as planned. Huawei SME Network Center provides the wizard-based network configuration function for you to quickly configure wired and wireless networks. Here, we use the guest subnet as an example. Choose Configuration, Entire Network Configuration, VLAN, MGMT. Click Modify Gateway, configure the AR router as the user gateway and click OK. Click Create. Set the basic parameters of the guest subnet and click Next. Select a wired access device, click OK, and select interfaces for connecting to wired terminals in the select interface area. After setting the parameters, click Next. On the Configure Wireless Network tab, set parameters and click Next. Finally, wait until the device configuration is delivered. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.